Saint Henry the Emperor minus 1024. Saint Henry II was son of Henry, Duke of Bavaria, and Gisela of Burgundy, and was born in 972. He was educated by Saint Wolfgang, Bishop of Ratisbon, and in 995 succeeded his father in the Duchy of Bavaria. In 1002, upon the death of his cousin Otto III, he was chosen emperor. He had always before his eyes the dangers to which those who move in places of power are exposed. He studied the extent and importance of the obligations which attended his dignity, and by prayer maintained in his heart the necessary spirit of humility and fear, and was able without being spoiled to bear the tide of prosperity and honor. He knew the end for which alone he was exalted by God to the highest temporal dignity, and worked his hardest to promote the peace and the happiness of his realm. Nevertheless, Henry at times made use of the church for political ends, in accordance with the imperial policy of his predecessor Otto the Great. He refused his support to ecclesiastical aggrandizement and temporal concerns, while maintaining the church's proper authority. But some of his politics look equivocal when examined from the point of view of the welfare of Christendom. He had to engage in numerous wars for the defense and consolidation of the empire, as for example in Italy before he could receive the crown. Ardu and of Ivrea had had himself crowned king at Milan, so the emperor crossed the Alps and drove him out. In 1014 he went in triumph to Rome, where he was crowned emperor by Pope Benedict VIII. Henry munificently repaired and restored the episcopal sees of Hildsheim, Magdeburg, Strasbourg and Meersburg, and made benefactions to the churches of Aachen, Basel and others. It is sometimes mistakenly asserted that he brought about the conversion of St. Stephen, King of Hungary, who in fact was born of Christian parents. But he promoted his endeavors for the conversion of his people. In 1006 Henry founded the See of Bamberg and built a great cathedral there, in order to solidify German power among the Wends. In this he was opposed by the bishops of Würzburg and Eichstätt, whose dioceses were thus dismembered but Pope John 19 approved, and Benedict VIII consecrated the cathedral in 1020. Henry also built an endowed a monastery at Bamberg, and made foundations in several other places, that the divine honor and the relief of the poor might be provided for to the end of time. In 1021 the emperor again came to Italy, on an expedition against the Greeks in Apulia. On his way back he was taken ill at Monte Cassino where he was said to have been miraculously cured at the intercession of St. Benedict, but he contracted a lamnus which never left him. Henry was attentive to the smallest affairs amidst the multiplicity of business which attends the government of the state, and whilst he was most active and vigilant in every duty which he owed to the public, he did not forget that the government of himself was his first obligation. He identified himself in time with those ideas of ecclesiastical reform which radiated from the great monastery of Cluny, and in support of them he even opposed himself to his kinsman, friend, and former chaplain, Arabo, whom he had appointed Archbishop of Mainz and who in Sonat had condemned appeals to Rome without episcopal permission. It is a well-known story of Henry that, wishing to become a monk, he promised obedience to the abbot of St. Van at Verdun whereupon the abbot put him under obedience to continue the administration of the empire. This and similar accounts of his ascetic practices do not entirely accord with what is known of his character and life. Henry was one of the great rulers of the Holy Roman Empire, and triumphed precisely as a Christian statesman and soldier, whose ways were, in the nature of things, not those of the cloister. Edifying legends were invented about him by the Bambergers, and such a work as Adalbert's life of the emperor does not give us the real Henry. What we know of him is mostly a matter of general history. Unlike St. Louis of France, St. Henry too did not have a joinville. He clearly promoted ecclesiastical reform, taking great care about episcopal appointments and supporting such great monks as St. Odillo of Cluny and Richard of St. Van. St. Henry was canonized by Eugenius III in 1136 and St. Pius X declared him the patron of Benedictine Oblats.